have been looking at, uh, as they say, old master painting throughout my life. And I, uh, I was always fascinated by it. Um, not only the imagery, but also the technique. And for me, it seemed like a magical uh, skill they, they had. I saw paintings when I was a little child. I saw paintings in museums and in churches, and I thought, this is a window to another imaginary world where I wish I could enter, but I cannot. Of course, the art world where I grew up was different. We, we had all these uh, categories in art. Uh, when I was young, it was pop art, and then it was conceptual art and minimal art, and, and it has influenced me a lot in my thinking or my dealing with art or perceiving art. But at the other hand, I also kept this um, fascination for old master painting. And I realized at a certain point that this technique, this way of painting, is not only a technique, it is also a, some kind of language. Uh, a language that is very universal, especially in the Western culture. Um, and it carries a lot of uh, luggage from our history. And the fact that it was not in use anymore uh, made me realize maybe I can do something with it in the world today. So, of course, my work is very post-conceptual, but you see the influence of conceptual art in my work in the way I choose my subjects. Therefore, uh, I find this painting technique I use still very relevant in a way, or, and usable. And the painters I have been looking mostly at as inspiration, as model for my technique, were mostly Baroque painters, uh, because they had a very efficient way of working. Well, there's uh, three paintings that are new, that are from the uh, last six months. Actually, the three different concepts behind it. Uh, the one is a, a painting with some kind of a plant, the green uh, plant, and that comes out of a series of uh, plants that I have seen in the storage room of the Museum of the University in Ghent. There were models uh, of uh, small plants that they made in the 20s in papier-mâché as uh, didactical models. And I enlarge them even more in the painting that they become really like an alien or something. It's not clear anymore what it has become in the painting. And they become like individuals. So I, I painted a couple of them and that's one of them. And then the large painting is also a, an idea that's been going on for the last year that I ask certain models that pose for me, make your own dress and I give some directions. I tell you, you have to look like a Christmas tree. You have to look like a naked human. Like this one, I told the girl, make a, human, a naked human costume in your own way. And then another girl, I thought, uh, you were a, a human rocket. But that's not here in the show. But, uh, and then there's the third one, the colored cones. But that derives from this rocket costume I mentioned before. And there were samples for the for the cone. And they were just samples, but they were standing there in my studio and I thought, oh, it's beautiful in itself, so I painted it. And I like this painting very much. Sometimes I make a painting and I think, I, I miss an element of movement. Like the three guys sitting there on the large film, they don't move. But I want to give the suggestion that they could move. It's a one minute loop. It's not a photograph. This, the guys sit there for one minute, and, and, but they're half asleep, they were a bit drugged, and they were, it was strange. It was a very strange atmosphere. The, the models were sitting there in their white suits, and they were really drugged. The only movement you have is the light that shifts. In all of my works, I like some absurdity, or some humor, or some uh, elements that, uh, that are not too serious. It's uh, 27 paintings and three film works. But I think this is a good... Uh, I don't like shows with 100 works. I, I did some shows like this and it's too much. 
I like the intimacy of a show. When I go to Vienna, to the Kunsthistorisches Museum, or, or to the Louvre, I only go to see one or two works and, and look at them very thoroughly, and then go back like this, that I'm not disturbed by other works. Like, otherwise, you get too much, and then you get blind again. It's no use. So uh, I think this is good in amount of works, more than enough. <laughs>